It is the 28th of the 7th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. This one's out of Philly on scott.net. The death toll from one of the region's most intense hot spells in the, in the 138 year period of records has reached at least 18. And that's probably a substantial undercount in the view of the heat mortality expert. Well, the health department added eight additional heat related deaths to the list today, bringing the Philadelphia total to 15. So the East Coast is still cooking. Record snowfalls in New Zealand. The big cleanup is well underway across the country following yesterday's record snowfalls and what may well end up being the coldest day of 2011. And uh, you got to remember, Christchurch is still recovering from those massive quakes that took place and, and devastated hundreds and hundreds of buildings uh, in the area. And uh, now they've, they're deep into winter. U.S. sinkhole shuts down portion of U.S. 41 in Brown County, Wisconsin. A quarter mile southbound lane of uh, 41 in northern Brown County was closed for nine and a half hours Tuesday after a five foot by three foot sinkhole in the road developed in the morning. Uh, Canada, part of the town street collapses creating a large sinkhole in Carmen, Manitoba. No injuries reported as street is closed. U.S. cracks and sinkholes from the Creekside Yards, Pensacola, Florida. And uh, Florida, of course, is a very sinkhole-prone state. Sinkhole in Palatine, Illinois could take two weeks to fix. It could take up to two weeks before crews completely repair a 15 by 20 foot sinkhole that opened up Saturday afternoon at Dundee and Hicks Road in Palatine. U.S. Florida Insurance Corporation seeking big premium increases in sinkholes. <laughs> so your sinkhole insurance is going through the roof for some reason, right? We got another climate change story. ATS Euromaster motorist urged to prepare as forecaster predicts the worst winter on record. So we're going to go from extreme heat to extreme cold, huh? And that has nothing to do with the Gulf Stream um, slowing down, shutting down. South Korea landslides leave 32 dead, 10 missing, and uh, this is what I was reporting from you last night. Um, all the chaos that took place in South Korea. And over to the extinction protocol. Japanese scientists worry March 9.0 earthquake may unleash a volcanic nightmare. Now this is kind of a fear piece, but it's just going into the geology story of um, that is pretty common um, historical knowledge that after big quakes, uh, volcanic activity seems to increase. In the, in the days, months, and even few years uh, preceding uh, big, big quakes like we had the one in here. And, of course, Tokyo's right there. Uh, and it's a big, long story. Large sunspot groups form on sun's eastern limb. And after more than a week of quiet, solar activity is picking up. NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory is monitoring two big sunspot groups now and emerging over the sun's eastern limb. And this is off of spaceweather.com. And uh, Tropical Storm Dawn forms in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, let's hope it brings some precipitation to some well-needed areas. Um, they're saying the only thing that's going to save these things is... Uh, a tropical system as far as their drought and heat going on right now. Oh, man, it's... And a uh, story, U.S. heat wave claims as many as 64 lives across uh, America. It's uh, stories out of Illinois. The, ha the massive heat, that wave that baked half the country in triple-digit heat index last week <clears throat> may have caused as many as 64 deaths in 15 states. And of course, Iceland's feared Katla volcano shows further signs of eruption. Um, one of Iceland's largest volcanoes, Katla, is showing increased signs of activity as observers today reported an increase in the strength of telltale tremors. 
A swarm of earthquakes, earthquakes that struck from the nine mile wide volcano a week after geophysicists warned the imminent danger of an eruption on the island. Uh, the volcano is capable of producing four times the ash of Iceland's last eruption in May. Observers believe uh, unusual magma, magma movement deep beneath Catalina uh, could signal early stages of activity that could lead to a huge eruption. Now, I've been going on and on for over a year. One of the first alerts I put out was on Catla, and uh, I emphasize again Catla. If when Catla goes, um, it's a climate changer, and uh, we will get it for real. And there's no tax in Catla. Uh, last time she went off, and I, I believe it was 1919. Um, they called it the year without a summer because uh, they were ice skating in the Gulf of, or on the mouth of the Mississippi River. 20,000 homes destroyed by floodwaters in Bangladesh. And heavy flooding in southern, southeastern Bangladesh has forced more than 20,000 people from their homes and, and uh, say the authorities, and again, they're in their monsoon season, typhoon season going on there, and they've just been getting... Uh, a lot of excessive weather. 400,000 people are already forced from their homes and unable to return due to flood drawers. Uh Crop damage the works. Sinkholes, a sign of the times. Absorbed reports of graping sinkholes in the ground continue to come all over the place. In cities on the open roads and in the countryside. Many of the sinkholes you'll, you'll see below have been individually explained away happening due to heavy rainfall during storms. Uh, I think it is an important thing to consider why so many of these sinkholes are appearing at once. If you consider the universe speaks to us in symbols, then perhaps there may be a deeper meaning behind their appearance at this evolutionary crossroads for humanity. And uh, it's another one of the extinction protocols fluff pieces and of course the South Korean flooding landslides leave 32 dead dozens injured over to the RSOE of course uh, coming out of Russia yet again more forest fires of uh, the Rostov reason and uh, Moscow's um, baking under a heat wave as well they're they're uh, reporting temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius and uh, the story went on about the fire and smog last summer but uh, here we go again flash flooding in uh, Sioux Falls South Dakota now uh, there are reports that the rain fell so heavy that there was the streets flooded as deep as three feet in some of these flash floods and uh, you know what that does for traffic and whatnot and you got to remember all of that's on the Missouri River Basin uh, Valley, which is already under extreme flooding conditions with nu two nuclear power plants uh, parked just west of me. And extreme weather coming out of the state of Massachusetts. Um, they're saying uh, it's just um, the wind was so heavy it sounded like a tornado, they were saying, um, as, as far as there's a lot of wind damage and uh, there's some pretty extreme weather. And they had a big, long story um, on this report about uh, some of the different things that happened. So it seemed like uh, Massachusetts definitely had their hands full. That is about it I have for you weather-wise today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know or attach your videos below. And uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.